All right, let's talk more about the hydroboration because there is some stereochemistry in the hydroboration. Again, everybody's favorite topic, stereochemistry. So let's look at a cyclic alkene. Anytime we, we want to strictly look at stereochemistry and addition reactions, we will look at cyclic alkenes. And we look at cyclic alkenes because we can then see if things added cis or trans in the reaction. So we're going to treat this with BH3. We're doing a hydroboration. And two, um, we're going to then do our second step, sodium hydroxide, hydrogen peroxide, and water. And these two steps always go together when you do a hydroboration. And what we'll see, one, is that we're going to add the alcohol to the less highly substituted side of the alkene. We're going to get, we're going to get the, um, the anti-Markovnikov product. So the alcohol is going to go here at the less highly substituted side. That's not what we saw with the carbocation reactions. What's interesting is that we're, so the OH is going to go there, and we're going to add an H here. And so let's see what's going on stereochemically. And let's fill in that hydrogen right there. So when we do this, what we see is that our OH, I'm going to say, let's assume our OH came in from the top face. We'll have to address that assumption in a second. Where does the H go? As it turns out, the H also will be on the top face. And so if you look at what we added, there is the water that we added. Remember, hydroborations overall do a hydration of our alkene. We're adding water. And there's the H2O, 1H and the OH. And note that the, the H and OH are cis to each other. In this case, they're both up. Because the groups that we're adding in this addition reaction are always added cis, we refer to this as a syn addition. Is there any other type of addition? Well, yes, there are other types of additions. It could be an anti-addition. We will see those later. But right now, our first reaction that gives stereo control in how things are added to the double bond, they go through a syn addition. Now, this is not the only product in this reaction. I've shown the OH and H is coming in on the top face of the alkene. The fact is, BH3 could eat just as likely add from the bottom face. So when we look at this, we could also have the, the, the OH coming from the bottom face. That means the H would start up, would end up on the top. But since it's a syn addition, if the OH ends up on the bottom face, that means the H that we added must also be on the bottom face. So that's what we've added. Now they're, they're still cis for this product. They're both down. But they're still six, cis, whoops, D, both down. And this is still a syn addition product. Hydroborations go through a syn addition. And as it turns out, we can get both enantiomers. We won't typically draw both, both enantiomers because it's kind of a pain in the backside to draw both enantiomers all the time. I'll typically, by default, bring things in from the top face. But it's important for you to be aware that groups can approach from the from the bottom face, especially when you start with a flat molecule like cyclohexene. So that's the stereochemistry for the hydroboration. It is a syn addition.